Before I tell you all about Rogue Company's roadmap, subscribe and ring that bell because I'm your number one channel for all Rogue Company content. So look, Rogue Company has just released their roadmap for their three phases of content. So right off the bat, we are currently in phase one. And we have already seen them add a surrender slash deserter penalty. By the way, thank you. Thank you very much, Rogue Company. That was well needed. Now, the biggest piece of content coming to Phase 1 is the new map, Vice. Now, there's not too much info out on the map so far, except for some screenshots and concept art. Based off of what I've seen so far, I am 100% excited to play on this map. God damn, Rogue Company just has some kind of fucking style when it comes to the making of their maps. And realistically, everything else in the goddamn game. I mean, did you see that big ass robot? Come on. Now the content doesn't just stop with phase one. Oh no. Phase two is coming with a whole shitload more of content. So first of all, they're adding a ranked game mode. I know so many people were dying for this and they're actually putting it into the game. I'm telling you right now, Rogue Company is not good for my health. I'm about to drop my whole last life to become pro in this game. Uh, kids, the saying's cool. They are also introducing new rogues, and if you don't know, rogues are playable characters. As of right now, the newest character is called Glitch. His character is badass, and soon I'll be dropping a video showing you exactly how to use Glitch, especially in the new ranked mode coming soon. Stay tuned for that one. Holy shit! Custom matches are also coming to Rogue Company. So look, I can already see it now. So there's a rogue called Phantom and her primary weapon is a sniper. I can already see the crazy ass sniper battles happening in custom matches. The MW2 Rust vibes are showing and I can't wait for this shit. And to wrap up phase two, we're also getting rogue mastery. What this means is essentially the more you play with a specific rogue, the more you will level them up and unlock cosmetics and rewards. So I mean Glitch and Ronin, so best believe I'ma have him looking so goddamn fly. So now let's get on to phase three, the last phase of the roadmap. So yeah, there will be a battle pass coming to Rogue Company. Now look, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of battle passes, but goddamn it, Rogue Company, take all my money, all of it. I can't even imagine all the amazing cosmetics and emotes that are gonna be in this goddamn battle pass. I'm telling you, I'll take a loan out for this shit if I have to. I don't give a damn. I was not joking when I said Rogue Company was not good for my health. <laughs> All right, but all jokes aside, I have full confidence that the people at Rogue Company will make a badass battle pass for all of us to enjoy. So also coming to phase three is equipment mastery. Now essentially this works very similar to rogue mastery. However, this time the more you use or complete challenges with specific gadgets and weapons, the more rewards you will earn. And finally wrapping up phase three, there will be an advanced ping system coming to Rogue Company. And thank God for this, because a ping system is essential, especially, especially for competitive play. So that's all we got so far for Rogue Company's roadmap. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for the best Rogue Company content. I hope to see you again. Peace. Hi, how are you? Dude, the guy flanked again. Yeah. To your right, clinics. Yeah. Oh no. There's a demon on spawn, careful. Nice, good shit.
want the smoke, bitch? What up? <laughs> yes, you got to get that is the comeback. Man. That was a massive comeback. That's sick, boys. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of stole you. I kind of, you know, I kind of stole you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I just had to rush that whole fucking like. Damn, ah! yeah, bro. I was good at you. That's all, folks.